Recently, scientists identified a creature that grows and shrinks its brain size. Can you guess its name? Here is a clue. The creature is an insect. I will give you another hint. The insect is found only in India. Well, I am Nidhi Kumar and you are watching Science Time, a show that brings you the best that science has to offer, from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. And today, we take a look at co-vaccines efficiency against the double mutant, if COVID-19 vaccines are safe for menstruating women and the insects that alter brain size. We take you to story number one. With community transmission of COVID-19 in full force and India nearing a staggering 4 lakh reported positive cases every day, there is an urgent need to establish whether the vaccines available in India are effective against the disease and are safe to use. One of the available vaccines and the only indigenously developed vaccine against COVID-19 in India is Covaxin. It was developed by Bharat Biotech in partnership with the National Institute of Virology and the ICMR and was approved for emergency use on January 3rd while still in clinical trials. Later, trial results showed the vaccine has an efficacy of 78% according to ICMR. The new B.1.617 variant, popularly known as the double mutant strain, is prevalent in Maharashtra and Delhi. This variant is thought to be behind the deadly surge in COVID across the country. The new variant was detected overseas as well and therefore the WHO recently listed B.1.617 as a variant of interest. The United Nations Health Agency said that the B.1.617 variant of COVID-19 first found in India had, as of Tuesday, been detected in over 1,200 sequences uploaded to the GSAD open access database from at least 17 countries. According to White House Chief Medical Advisor Anthony Fauci, Covaxin has been found to neutralize the B.1.617 variant or the Indian double mutant strain. Dr. Fauci stressed the need for every citizen to get vaccinated and so he reiterated. So, I will stop there with the final statement. The one thing that you can gather from everything I have said is that it is very important to get vaccinated. Moving on to the next story, story number 2. As COVID-19 cases are surging across the country, as India reels under the second wave of this pandemic, it is natural for people to feel concerned. Many are getting a CT scan done in the initial stages of COVID-19. This trend can do more harm than good. As you might know, COVID-19 primarily affects the lungs. So CT scans help doctors understand the impact on the lungs and the severity of the disease. But not everyone needs it. People showing mild COVID-19 symptoms should avoid getting a CT scan done. This is because CT scans could expose you to radiation equivalent to 300 to 400 X-rays. It raises the risk of cancer later in life, especially in the younger people. So, go for a CT scan only if you have a moderate illness or if your doctor advises it. If you want to check the state of your lungs, opt for a chest X-ray instead. Now that we have cleared this, we will talk to you about another pressing issue, misinformation. They can do serious damage by driving vaccine hesitancy. Recently, a widely circulated social media post claimed the COVID-19 vaccine lowers immunity for women for five days before, during and after periods. It added that women who get vaccinated during their periods face a high risk of contracting the infection and falling sick. But is there any truth? To this claim, the answer is no, a clear not. We will tell you why. Experts say there is no actual evidence suggesting that COVID-19 vaccines can lower immunity during menstruation. So millions of women worldwide have received COVID-19 shots and there have been no issues reported so far. It is also important to understand that menstruation is a natural body process and does not limit or decrease the body's immune response. Menstruation involves hormonal changes which may mean minimally impact you 
to react to an illness or react to side effects, but it does not decrease immunity. Getting your periods does not impact the vaccine's efficacy. There is no correlation between the two. COVID-19 vaccines were approved only after they passed safety checks. And moving on to our next story. We began by talking about a specific group of insects capable of altering their brain size. It's time to reveal their identity. They're known as the Indian jumping ants. Measuring an inch long, these ants have forceps like mouths and large eyes. They prey on creatures nearly twice their size, according to the New York Times. If these abilities were not extraordinary enough, here's more. The Indian jumping ants can shrink their brains by nearly 20% and restore them within weeks. Other insects also share some attributes of the Indian jumping ants. Honeybees, for instance, can increase their brain size but cannot reduce them. This brings us to the question, why do Indian jumping ants increase and decrease their brain size? According to a new study, these insects change brain size to help them compete for the throne. Ants, as you might know, live in organized societies or colonies. The queen rules over a group of worker ants. Only the queen and only the queen is capable of reproducing. The workers are sterile. And if a queen dies, the colony will cease to exist. The Indian jumping ants, however, operate differently in certain aspects. If the queen dies, the worker ants compete with each other for the throne. For up to 40 days, the worker ants will fight by jamming antennae into each other's faces. The battle ends with 5 to 10 winners. These ants undergo massive transformation, their ovaries expand and their brains shrink. This change helps them produce offspring. Unlike workers, the queen does not need a large brain to perform mental tasks such as foraging or battle predators. Scientists then wondered if they could induce gamma gates to resume their original state, worker ants. What they found was astounding. By cutting off social interactions and care, the pseudo queens went back to being workers even after returning to their colony. And when scientists dissected these small insects roughly six to eight weeks later, they saw that the internal organs switched back to their original size. In the end, I'll urge all individuals above the age of 18 to get themselves vaccinated against COVID-19. These are times that are difficult, so stay healthy, stay safe, keep watching India Science. Namaskar.